Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Full frame, full frame cameras, full frame sensors, the ultimate, right? That's what we all eventually aspired to or thought we would end up buying one day. But is that really the case these days? Is that what is reality? Has that become reality? We have a viewer comment or a little bit of viewer feedback here. This is from N. Petrides or Petrides. I'm not exactly sure how to say that. That's their YouTube username. Moving from my very much loved Nikon D810 to the X Pro 2. So that's the Fuji X Pro 2. Thinking I would never buy anything else has been the best decision ever made. So in other words, um, very much loved Nikon D810. And I'm assuming what they mean by thinking I would never buy anything else was, you know, you buy a D810. 36 megapixels, amazing image quality. I, I'm the first one to admit I'm absolutely blown away. I always thought I didn't need 36, but when I shoot with that guy, the D810, the power file you get out of there is simply incredible. The resolution, the detail, the it's just a really, really sweet file. Uh, very capable camera too, great autofocus. But they've moved to a Fuji X-Pro2, which is also a very, very capable camera, but 24 megapixels. But no regrets. They're saying it's the best decision they've ever made. So, you know, you look at what I said originally there of, you know, a lot of people get into photography thinking eventually I will upgrade to full frame. But now, is the final upgrade going to something smaller and lighter that delivers pretty much as close as needed image quality? For instance, the Fuji series, the X-Pro2. My favorite would be the X-T2 or the x T20 is really my darling. I really like the 20. So can you go from something and, well, well, you can, obviously. Our viewer here has. But I'm wondering how many of you have? How many people have made the progression from what they thought was the ultimate camera that they probably thought they were going to keep forever, like a D810 or a 5DS or 5DSR, and have played with the Fuji system and got lured away into it? Or even conversely, say a Sony, but not the high megapixel ones. Um, I'm just curious. I guess more specifically, the Fuji. The Fuji X sensor and the kind of mystique around it and the beautiful files it delivers. And now the beautiful 4K video they deliver, both on the X-T2 and the X-T20. Is this something that you've done? Is this something you're contemplating? I don't know how widespread this is. But it is a, a rethink, a change in how we look at things. You know, I think the ultimate for most people has always been a high-resolution full-frame sensor as far as the ultimate image quality and the ultimate camera they may well buy in the end. Now, you know, have you changed your mind? Have you got there like our viewer and then decided it wasn't really what you wanted? It was you're much happier with a Fuji? Let me know in the comments below. Do you shoot Fuji? Do you have an X-Series? Do you have one of the newer ones, the X-Pro2, the X-T2, the x 20 with the new beautiful 24 megapixel sensor two of those do very capable 4k how's it working for you have you switched from a higher resolution camera like a d810 or a canon 5dsr um are you happy let me know in the comments below let's discuss it a little bit flush out what the ultimate camera is now for you maybe it's not the highest resolution full top of the line megapixel uh heavy big DSLR. Maybe it's a Fuji. Let me know. Leave your comments below. Let's discuss it. Thanks for your comments uh, and Petrides and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.